The learning goal for today's lesson is I can locate, compare, and order rational numbers using a number line. Some key points to think about. Rational numbers include whole numbers, integers, as well as positive and negative fractions, decimals, and percents. When you're ordering rational numbers, use an open number line. This helps you to see relationships between the numbers and look at their absolute value or distance from zero. When presented with multiple forms of numbers, it is helpful to write them all in one form before placing them on an open number line. Writing all values in decimal form is a good strategy. Once they are on the number line, they are ordered least to greatest. Let's do an example. Order the rational numbers from least to greatest. This one is a little tricky because now we have negative and positive numbers, and these involve fractions and decimals. I would recommend converting all to decimal form to make comparing easier. Then we will use our open number line and place them where they should be in relation to each other in zero. Let's start with our negatives and I am going to change them into decimal form so it makes it a little easier to compare them. Negative three and one fourth is equivalent to negative three and 25 hundredths. Negative three and six tenths we have already in decimal form. I added a zero because I like to make mine look, look like money. It's just a little little easier to understand those decimal values when you think about money. Negative two-fifths, I know, is equivalent to negative four-tenths. We can convert that by dividing. You could divide your numerator by your denominator, or you could compare it to a fraction with a denominator of 10 to convert that fraction. Of those three, I can see that negative two-fifths is closest to zero. It hasn't even reached negative one yet. So that one is gonna be closest to zero. I can place that on my open number line. As I move away from zero, I would get to negative three and one-fourth next. That is the next closest to zero. And the one furthest away from zero is negative three and six-tenths. And once we have them on our open number line in relationship to zero, we have our negatives in order least to greatest going left to right. Let's look at our positives. We have four, which is just four, and 27 six, we can change that into fraction form or a mixed number, or we can change it into decimal. So 27 divided by six give us, gives us a mixed number of four and three six, which simplifies to four and a half, which in decimal form we know is 4.5 or four and five tenths. If we think about relationship to zero, four is four units from zero and four and a half is a little further out. So it is greater than four on our open number line. So our order from least to greatest would be negative three and six tenths, negative three and one fourth, negative two fifths, four, and then 27 sixths.